Hi everybody, welcome back to the closet. Um, this is kind of like a really important emergency video, so sorry if I talk too fast or something. But a lot of people have been asking me, how should they come out or when should they come out to their parents about being trans or the people around them to let them know that they're trans. A lot of people are probably already clicking off the video for whatever reason, but just hear me out for a quick second. If you fuck this up, the rest of your life is going to be utter hell if you don't transition correctly or don't have like a good foundation or a good start. If little Timmy comes out to his mom and tells her that she's trans now, that she wants to be a girl now, um, Timmy's mom is not going to understand that. She's not going to take him seriously. It's going to be like, what do you mean, kid? You don't look like it. You don't sound like it. You have nothing. You've shown zero signs or interest of this. They're not going to take you seriously because you haven't done any of your homework, you've never talked about it, you've never shown signs of it. They're just not going to take you seriously, and then especially if they're your parents who need to help you and support you, they're not going to do any of that. What I think Timmy should do, best case scenario, is go to a therapist who they can like talk about it, who can back them up in the situation. You could also be looking at trans education stuff online so you know what you're getting yourself into. Because once you go trans or become trans, your life is going to become a hundred times harder and there's no going back. If little Timmy has a therapist to back her up, then it's going to be a lot easier to convince Timmy's parents that they're trans. If it's just Timmy by themselves being like, oh, I'm trans one day, no one's going to take them seriously. But before you even get to the therapist level, you want to have a good understanding of whether or not you're trans or not. So then you want to do all your research on education to see if this is right for you. This could be like using different pronouns online, um, looking a little bit more feminine in real life, changing the way that you dress, changing the way that you act. Basically kind of slowly assimilating into the gender that you want to be before you actually do it. And they can just do stuff that's uh, reversible, like, I don't want to use this pronoun anymore, I don't want to wear this clothing anymore. But you can do subtle things like wear women's socks or wear like women's um, shirts. And then some people won't even notice because it's just androgynous clothing. You basically want people to kind of catch on, like be like, okay, you're doing something weird, but like, I don't really want to call you out for it. And then once you do it long enough and people start questioning you like, hey, uh, what's wrong with you? And then you come out as trans, they're going to be like, I knew it. And that's because you already gave them all the signs that you're probably um, going to be trans. What I did growing up was like, I grew out my hair. I would wear like androgynous clothing. I would wear my sister's like sweaters sometimes. I would do stuff like this. So then whenever I went out to public, people would misgender me when I identified as male. They would be like, oh, hey, ma'am, all the freaking time because I looked the part even though I wasn't actually the part. And then when it came out to my family, they were kind of like, we saw that coming. The key to all of this is to be subtle and blend in and take it as slow as you can. That's going to be like the really sucky part is that it's going to be a slow process. A lot of people just want to wake up one morning and just be the other gender. But realistically, that's not the case. It's going to take a lot of time. So while I was subtly giving people signs, I also went to doctors and like therapists behind everybody's back just to kind of like confirm like what it is I'm feeling without like telling anybody uh, ahead of time. Usually I feel like, this is my personal opinion, I think people are going to overreact to this unless I have like a lot of like evidence or like support behind me already. In my head, I had a goal of what I wanted to be and what I wanted to become and sort of kind of a pathway to get to what I wanted and where I wanted to be. You're going to need a goal in your head. Where do you want to be in like two or three years or five years from now? Where would be the end goal and how do you get there? Your goal also has to be somewhat realistic because you can't be looking at anime characters and be like, I want to look like that because that's not going to make any sense. You can pick somebody in real life that you really do respect and you're like, it would be really cool if I can live life in your shoes or do what you're doing right now. And then you can think about that, formulate it in your head and be like, how do I have to get to where they're at and kind of work your way up like that. It's going to be really complicated, kind of like a really weird thought, but think of a goal. Where do you want to be? Once you have a therapist that can back you up, an end goal where you want to be and already kind of looking the part, already like doing something to like assimilate or do what you be what you want to be already then you can come out to your parents and be like yo this is it i got people to back me up and you can probably notice it too let's go
The therapist part is probably gonna be the hardest part of all of this. I waited until I was 18 to see my first doctor about all of this, and then they ended up um, recommending me to another therapist who wasn't a gender specialist or anything. They were just a therapist that didn't really do anything for me. And by the time I was 22, I found the right therapist, the right people to talk to, and I got everything sorted out from there. It took a long freaking time. And I knew from when I was like 16 that I wanted to be trans and it took all the way up till I was 22 to actually get the ball rolling. All of this is gonna take time, but this is good. You wanna build a nice foundation where you can build off of. And then from this, you'll have a lot more support than little Timmy being like, oh, I'm trans one day. Once you get all the foundation stuff set up, your life is gonna be a hundred times easier. To a lot of people, this information is going to be very irrelevant, but to the one person out there that really needs to hear this, I'm just, I'm happy, more than happy to make this, I'm more than happy to talk to you in DMs, whatever, whatever you need, I'm here for you. If you want to talk to a community of trans people, you can always join the Discord, or you can also visit my Twitch channel, we're live almost every day, where you can find people exactly like you. If you need a community, want to talk to real trans people, you can come hang out with us and see um, what it's like, I guess. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, feel free to share this video with anybody else that's questioning it or whatever. I'm happy to help. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm usually pretty open about criticism or questions or something like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye, 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 bye.